I rise to once again condemn the lack of appropriate planning and the lack of proper community consultation by the New South Wales Liberal government when it comes to the West Connect project. Uh, the fact is that this project will be studied in history as how to not plan a project, a project that began with a recommendation from Infrastructure New South Wales to increase access to the port at Botany by duplicating the M5 as the number one priority that they identified. We now have a road costing $16.8 billion on the surface, but of course a lot more than that in reality, uh, which doesn't go to the port, doesn't go to the airport and doesn't go to the city. It is becoming a road to more roads and what's more, a toll road which will impose uh, severe financial hardship on people in Western Sydney and people who use this road. It of course was extraordinarily uh, sold off the uh, half the share of this road to a consortium led by Transurban last week for some $9.3 billion. It is extraordinary that a road that is still under construction halfway through, at which the Roselle interchange has still not been approved and properly planned, has been sold off to a private consortium uh, for that cost. And of course, what that does is make it uh, ensure that there would have to be compensation for the private owner of uh, West Connects were any changes uh, to be made. Today we find that the New South Wales government have announced $2.6 billion will be required to build the Sydney Gateway project from the St Peter's interchange through to the airport. So that's in addition, that's further taxpayers' money going towards this project. And we know that it's also proposed to have an F6 through to the Sutherland Shire and a Northern Beaches tunnel from the Roselle interchange under Sydney Harbour at many more tens of billions of dollars if you add all this up. This is why the planning has been so appalling for this project with real consequences for all of the people of Sydney.